Now let us look at question number two. Now question number two says, uh, in a steam power plant operating in an ideal Rankine cycle, superheated steam enters the turbine at 3 MPa and 350 degrees Celsius. The condenser pressure is 75 kPa. What is the thermal efficiency of the cycle? Okay, it's a pretty straightforward question. The data will be given to you in your gate exam. You cannot use any tables. Whatever data that you need for calculation purposes, it will be given to you in the question. Okay, some obvious data you can you know, easily remember, but specific data will be provided. Okay, so this is the data given to you. That is at 75 kPa pressure, these are the steam properties. You have HF, you have VF, you have SF and you have SFG and then you have SFG okay at 3 MPa and 350 degree Celsius this is not this is not Kelvin enthalpy and entropy is also given to you okay now if you look at the ideal Rankine cycle TS plot this is how it looks like now right now we have assumed that from this superheated state the turbine exit is again saturated I don't know I am just assuming it okay let's uh, try and prove it or find out what would be the exit state okay before that let's write down the data given to us let's start with the first condition that is 1 okay now your turbine inlet is 3 MPa and 350 degrees Celsius so P1 is 3 MPa which is 3000 uh, kPa okay T1 T1 is 350 degrees Celsius okay now at 1 the enthalpy is how much this much 3115.3 so H1 is 3115.3 kilojoule per kg and similarly entropy is how much 6.7428 so specific entropy 6.7428 this much okay now let's try and get the condition at state 2 now we know that the entropy would be same whatever you have at 1 the same would be at 2 okay so I can say that S1 is equal to S2 and this is equal to SF2 plus X2 into this. Now this is the boiler pressure, this is the con uh, turbine pressure and this is the condenser pressure. So I will write down PC. Okay. So 2 and 3 are corresponding to 75 kPa pressure okay so this is how much 6.7428 now SF2 now liquid entropy at 75 kPa pressure is how much 1.213 okay plus I don't know x2 into the uh, you can say latent uh, entropy at uh, the condenser pressure is how much 6.2434 now from this equation I can find out the value for x2 and the value for x2 comes about to be approximately 0.884 so it is evident that this point will not lie over here this is incorrect okay so you are 0.2 would lie over here okay so this is how your new cycle would look like or the exactness is like this so this is point 2 not this okay now because I have the quality of steam at point 2 let me get the enthalpy at 2 that would be HF2 plus X2 into HFG2. Now, 
uh, HF2 is how much? HF2 is this much 384.39. Let me write it down 384.39 plus you have X2 also 0.884 and HFG. HFG is how much? 2278.6. So when you do this calculation, you get the value for H2. So H2 comes about to be 2402.55 kilogram per kg. Okay, so now I have H1 and now I have H2. So H2, I'll write it down over here only. H2 is how much? 2402.55 kilojoule per kg. Okay. Right, so now let's go to state 3. Now before I go to state 3, this is the condens uh, this is the pump work. Okay, now I know the pressure at which this is operating. I know this pressure. Okay, so pump work is basically Vf into P4 minus P3. Okay, now Vf is how much? Vf is the state 3 and the liquid a specific volume at 3 that is corresponding to condenser pressure that is this value which is 0 0.001037 okay. now P4 corresponds to the turbine pressure which is 3 MPa so this becomes 3000 kPa minus 75 kPa so when you solve this the answer is approximately 3.5 033 kilojoule per kg so this is the pump work okay after pump work let's find out h3 now h3 is corresponding to condenser pressure and it's a saturated liquid now liquid enthalpy at 75 kpa is straight away this okay so h3 is equal to hf3 which is 384.5 39 kilojoule per kelvin so this is h3 now you are at h3 you put in some pump work and you reach h4 so h4 can be found out by adding pump work to the liquid enthalpy at 0.3 so this is 384.39 plus 3.033 okay and this would be equal to 387.37 kilojoule per kg okay now we have h4 now let's find out the turbine work because we have h1 okay and we have h2 i can easily find out turbine work and i also have the pump work so the net work can now be found out net work this is equal to uh, turbine work minus pump work so you have h1 minus h2 that is the turbine work minus the pump work which is this okay do the simple calculations over here and the net work would be approximately 709.72 so this is the net work output Okay, now to find out the thermal efficiency, I need the heat input which is from this point to this point. Okay, so let's find out the heat input which is H1 minus H4. Okay, after finding out heat input, the thermal efficiency would be network output upon heat input. So, network output is that. Okay, by heat input which is H1 3115.3 minus H4 which is how much? Which is this much 387.37. So when you do the calculations over here, you will get the answer as 26%. So the entire cycle is having an efficiency of 26%. Okay, now the question was not actually difficult. It was a bit lengthy as you know because it 
had a lot of calculations to be done. Okay, the data was given to you. If you know the points and you have a very good hat and uh, hand at your scientific calculator, you can very well easily, you know, do these calculations within two minutes. So I hope you understood this entire question: how to write down the data, how to draw the diagram, how to you know get this uh, uh, point, the quality of steam at point two, and then from there on, it was simple question on finding out properties at these salient points. So I hope you understood this question. Now let's move on to the next question. That is question number three in the next video.